Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. This morning we are here in Berkeley, California and we're checking out a place called The Grilled Cheese Guy. Got invited here by the owner Michael in this Berkeley location where he has a grilled cheese catering business. Started off with street food pop-ups. He has a location in San Francisco, but we're here in Berkeley, California checking out his catering side of the business. And they specialize in grilled cheese sandwiches, anything and everything cheesy, and maybe a variety of different other uh, sandwich types as well. But we're gonna check everything out here, see the process, and introduce you guys to the grilled cheese cheese guy. With that said, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that and I'm going to show you everything in this video right now. Alright, so this walk into the warehouse area. I believe this is the way. Michael? <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? How you doing, Chris? Good. Nice, nice to meet you. All right, so we're here with uh, Michael, the owner of Grilled Cheese Guy. So this is the man here. Started with street food, a pop-up place somewhere. We started right? Oakland's uh, first. In Friday. Oakland. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. And now you guys are just kind of building your here. empire. We're still alive. Here. <laughs> All right. Great, Great to finally meet Michael. And so we're gonna take a look at some food process and try some. Yeah, go visit the stuff. shop one day. Oh yeah, Let's for sure. We're shop. gonna talk about that later on too. Nice little graphic here. I believe Michael is gonna begin cooking the, the sandwiches and getting that going. So we butter everything. You're looking at a grilled peanut butter jelly, a pastrami, a classic, and this is our grilled cheese nacho. Nice. Butter that sandwich up on top, dressed it up, and now he's gonna lay it into it. It's a panini press, we don't like that word. It's a grilled cheese press. Grilled cheese press. I don't want you to get confused. <laughs> press it, and as grandma always had, we always brick things. Oh Put man. Put a brick on it. Check that out. <laughs> when you're making like hundreds and you got four grills, you can't have all the arms on it. So right, the, right. The brick is the trick, was our first slogan. Nice, man. Yeah. That is a genius way to do it, man. Instead of uh, standing there and holding it down, you put that brick on there. Original from Michael. <laughs> you can have a brick at home too. Everyone can have a brick. All right. Bam, turkey, bacon. If you get it all, it's called the works. You know, so you asked me where this all started. Mm -hmm. It started on the streets of Oakland, but technically, mm -hmm. there was a national grilled cheese contest that mm -hmm. they had a regional in Oakland, mm -hmm. Eli's Mile High Club. Mm -hmm. And then it came to nationals. They invited me because I won first place. Uh -huh. Oh, And nice. nationals was in LA every year. And it eventually went to Anaheim at uh -huh. the Rose Bowl. Okay. So technically, I won first place at the Rose Bowl. Right. Even though I'm not a sportsman, I feel proud. Yeah. Best grilled cheese in all the US. 50 states enter. Official. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's nice. That's dope. That's, uh, that's definitely a, a feat accomplished. Before this was a playful one, it was Hungry Games. Uh -huh. On the back it said, may the odds free ever in your flavor. So we took that off. The grilled cheese press. We do our pickled red onions, very popular. Simple recipe, you can do it at home. Everyone should have pickled red onions. It's good for your health. We do a little arugula. Strami out, sneak a pickle. There's one. All right, next up, classic. I mean, we're gonna keep the classic classic, you know? We want you to try traditional. I'm not gonna juice it up except for with this one, I'm going to tell you that we have, once you order your sandwich, we have a condiment club. It's either local or artisanal condiments. I've met over the years, people in small businesses. So when you order your sandwich, you get a ticket to the condiment club. And this habanero pepper jelly, habanero pepper jelly. is as popular Seriously? as my entire business. Certain places, if I set up my tent, you oh know me, they'll goodness. say, do you have the jelly? And if we yeah. don't, they don't even order. They don't care. <laughs> Real peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm not going to okay. put a pickle. It's just fun. 
we do that for parties and stuff. And then our most popular, once you get to know us, the grilled cheese nachos. Grilled cheese nachos. So we make our own nacho concoction. Uh -huh. I'll tell you the main cheeses. Usually, I, there's a camera in front of me, so I get scared, but I'll say it fast. <laughs> Gouda, pepper jack, cream cheese, sriracha, slap you on with Cajun seasoning, pickled jalapenos, and you blend it all together and make your nacho concoction. Awesome. So we got a little canned jalapenos on the side, some uh, little Mex Prema. You dip uh, these guys sweet. and you go nuts. It's a nice, okay. got some heat. And you said this was called the, um, grilled, cheese the grilled cheese nachos. Okay, nacho guys. Jeez. Okay. So he just laid out the variety of sandwiches from grilled cheese guys. They look fantastic, fabulous. He got me on that habanero jelly. Excited to try that one. Okay, I've never seen uh, like, like grilled cheese sandwiches performed in that, in that fashion before, created in that way. And you can see the, the expertise behind it and you can see just the passion uh, that, that drives him to make these. Super excited to try these sandwiches. outside because the weather is beautiful a great thing to be outdoors enjoying these awesome grilled cheese sandwiches man we're here at the grilled cheese guy and we have just gotten the works from from michael i guess the first thing i want to go ahead and try these are one of his like favorite people just are coming back for this right here but let's let's stop talking let's get to trying these now here the grilled cheese nachos you got that sour cream some jalapenos i will chase this with a jalapeno and you no, know, first of all, before I have it with the sour cream, I'm gonna have it just as is with that panini style bread and that grilled cheese. Oh man. Oh, that is crucial. That is killer. So you have that panini style crust, that inner grilled cheese, layer of cheese. There's a little bit of spice with some jalapenos inside there, but I love the way that they he prepared the cheese. He prepared that press with that the grilled cheese press and he sliced it up to look like nachos. I'm gonna try it now with that sour cream and then chase it with the jalapeno. So good with that sour cream. Oh man. Oh yeah, that sour cream right there. Well, chase the jalapeno with the jalapeno. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, that combination with the sour cream and the jalapeno, that's superb. Mm. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm gonna get a little bit more sour cream in this one right here. Yeah, it's it's great by itself. No complaints about it. Yeah, having that sour cream with it is a must. That sour cream is a must have with this, for sure. And the jalapenos too. If you're into spice, throw those jalapenos on there. It gives you a nice spice kick. Jalapeno. Mm. All right. Grilled cheese nachos. Absolutely terrific. All right, before I move on to the next sandwich here, I want to just try some, some Diet Coke. Now, I've never been more excited to move on on this grilled cheese sandwich meal here. Next one I'm gonna try, I believe this is the classic grilled cheese with that habanero pepper jelly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one right here and you can see that jelly right there. Wow, okay. So before I try that glorious jelly, go on that pickle, that oh, no, like, like a nice looking dill. I'm gonna go and give this a bite here, this classic grilled cheese by itself here. You could just tell that's just gonna be cheesy and just crispy and delicious. And I love it, again, I love that grilled cheese iron press that just flattened it out to perfection, man. Here we go. Cheers. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. So you have a nice, just crispy outer shell, but when you bite into that, that grilled cheese sandwich, you have a nice, like, really delicate, soft, texture of that grilled cheese bread and it just kind of just crumbles and disintegrates in your mouth and then you get into that intersection of that cheese just brings you to another euphoria grilled cheese heaven <laughs> okay I'm gonna try that with the habanero jelly now let me let me see how maybe I just dip or scoop or yeah let me just scoop it like that oh yeah okay and he said this is a, a crowd favorite as well, that jam. Bingo. Okay, so you have that, those contrasting textures, that cheese, and then you have the added jam that gives it a nice sweet flavor to it. Yeah, he's absolutely right. That's some delicious jam. It's not 
very spicy to me. Kind of reminds me of um, like a sweet and sour, like maybe a hint of spice. Uh, maybe the, the habanero might catch up later on, I'm not sure. At the same time, I am, I'm a spice person, so it does take more for, for me to feel the effects of spice. Again, I love that sweetness to it. It contrasts well with the saltiness of that bread and the cheese. Yeah, let me try another, another bite of that, and I'm gonna chase this with the pickle now. The dill pickle. I'm not gonna scoop it, I don't have a spoon, so I'll scoop that jam. Just like that on here. Here we go. Okay. Oh, mm. oh yeah. Mm. Have a little pickle. Taste it with pickle. Here's the thing here. You have this nice salty, crispy texture complemented with that sweet, zesty jam. And then you have that nice crunch of the dill pickle, which gives it a nice sour flavor to it. So you have like three palate taste euphorias going on there. The saltiness, the sweetness, the sourness. Oh man, and the textures are awesome. Wow, the classic, fantastic. All right, okay, moving on to the next awesome item here. We're gonna cross to the diagonal now, or vertical, wherever you're, you're, you're facing, and we're gonna try the pastrami grilled cheese sandwich here. Okay, again, you have that nice, just flattened, crispy layer of toast, and then you have the pastrami, I believe that's, uh, is that arugula or? Yeah, it's arugula, purple onions, and that cheese. Okay, and you have the pickle. I'm gonna chase this one with the pickle here. This is the meaty portion of the meal, and we also have bacon too. I might add some bacon on this bite here too. You can see that bacon here. I'll probably have it on my next bite, but let me go ahead and go for this sandwich here. Cheers. Oh. All right, my mouth is still full. That's a hefty bite. The pastrami, man, I love that pastrami. Their meatier portions of the grilled cheese menu. Yeah, it's chock full of that pastrami. It's perfect with the arugula and the and the purple onions and that cheese, man. I'm gonna chase this next one here with a, with a piece of bacon and a pickle. Mm. Oh, yeah. Bacon. Oh. Mm. That's some crunchy bacon. And a pickle. Okay, bacon, first of all, that bacon is nice and crispy. That's just like a like a crumbly slab of bacon, like chips almost, like bacon chip. And then you have that pickle, complements this sandwich perfectly. It's a must. I think as much as the sour cream with the nacho grilled cheese sandwich, needing that sour cream, this pastrami grilled cheese sandwich, oh, you need to have it with that pickle. Oh, wow. Piece of bacon, Monty's here with us doing a trick. Monty, sit. Shake. We're shaking. Oh boy. Yeah, you're good. We've come to our final sandwich here at the Grilled Cheese Guy. It's the, the peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, maybe? Is there jelly in it? Yeah, I think it's peanut butter and jelly. Like the right move to have this at the end. Although everything here was just, you know, you can have any one of these at the end and be completely satisfied. But we're gonna go with this here, the peanut butter and jelly. And I'm just not gonna say any more introductions because you know what it is, PBJ, the Grilled Cheese Guy style. Cheers. Forgot to mention real quick that these sandwiches here, he added that butter in the beginning to slather it on, probably on both sides. Yeah, that makes the sandwich for sure. Apart from that, oh, this PBJ right here. That has to be one of the best like pan-fried PBJ sandwich I've ever had in my life. I say it now, I think it's pretty up there as far as one of the best PBJ sandwiches I've ever had. I think so. It's up there for sure. The uh, summer texture of that toast, the grilled cheese guy style. And yeah, who doesn't love PBJ? Let's add that jelly too, that spicy habanero jelly. This will definitely contrast it perfectly. So I'm scooping that up now. All right. Okay, I think, uh, I think that'll do right there. Could always go for more, but this is good right here. All right. Victory. Oh wow, I would order this often for sure. Oh yeah, I would, wow. So you have all these different styles of grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, granted the PBJ not, doesn't have the cheese, but you have the style of the grilled cheese guy embedded into these sandwiches. All are absolutely fantastic. All of them are delicious. Yeah, this is definitely award-winning. Probably some of the best grilled cheese sandwich I've ever had in my life, yes. 
for sure. Hey guys, we just got done finishing up with uh, Michael and the grilled cheese guy. The sandwiches are probably hands down some of the best, if not the best grilled cheese sandwiches I've ever had in my life. I don't have it often, and if I decide to do have it often, I'm probably gonna see this guy. Good <laughs> for you, come yeah. try. <laughs> They're all unique in all respects. That PBJ was, was, was a stunner, and he mentioned to me earlier that they used to have something like that with the PBJ stuff. Throw peanut butter and jelly guy. So guys, this is a catering business, business here in Berkeley. Yep. They also have a shop in SF. Soon we're gonna have a new business he's gonna come back for called Witch Guys, we're gonna try those. Yep. Yep, Otherwise, yep. now we just come visit us. We get around. We got a calendar. We're public people. Right. And I'll shoot everything in below. You see the description. Go and check them out there. And they'll also do the food festivals as well. Yeah. So they're out there too. So, all right, Michael. Thank you very much. Always great. A pleasure. Hey guys, we just finished here at the Grilled Cheese Guy in Berkeley, California. Big thanks to Michael for having us come out. Check out his food, try his food, his delicious grilled cheese sandwiches. That's about it, this will close off this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I greatly appreciate that. Peace out, one love, late. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, later.